that cloud seeding at max can bring down the AQI levels to a few hundred points for a few hours to a few days. It is yes. but a band-aid or perhaps a temporary respite from pollution, not a solution to pollution. Correct. Right, sir. Which, which then brings me to uh, how, how do we even understand if this is what is really required? Uh, there are questions being raised on the cost. Uh, we've been gathering from sources that the deal that you have with the Delhi government is for about 3.5 crore for 10 seeding attempts. And is, is that correct, sir? And do you think what we're trying to achieve then matches with the cost involved? Yeah, but this is the cost to which is a, a little on the, not little, more than a little high. And the reason is that uh, there is a lot of fixed cost here. Uh, the aircraft, maintenance, pilots. Then if you are flying from Kanpur to Delhi, there is uh, higher fuel cost as well. But uh, once th things get uh, streamlined, one expects that we will be flying from somewhere near Delhi. All the fixed costs will get amortized. Then the uh, seeding cost then will be substantially less than what these numbers indicate. Uh, my back of the envelope calculation is that uh, for a seeding, continuous seeding for an entire winter season, will the cost will be 25 crores or thereabouts. Hmm. 25 and, uh, CR, you're saying? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and this for the entire four month of winter season, whenever there are clouds, we go ahead and do the seeding. Hmm. Uh, that is not... I would say very substantial in terms of the overall budget to address the pollution problem hmm. in Delhi. So I would not worry that much about the cost part of it, but hmm. the fact that it is uh, a measure which is, when there is an SOS situation, then you have to, this is the solution that is available. So you do it, you spend some money, but ideally one should not be spending this money. Ideally one should not be requiring cloud seeding because uh, one could address the sources of pollution. At the same time, one has to be practical that we cannot overnight tackle the sources of pollution. Hmm. There is going to be a time period. And in that time period, this is a solution that's available. Got it, got it. Well, that's nicely put, sir. I think a very balanced answer over there. I want to then understand from you, if you're saying this will be consistently done over four to five months of the winter period lasting in Delhi NCR, there are scientific evidence that too much of cloud seeding can also be detrimental. Now, thanks to social media, we have everybody talking about sodium iodine and salts, etc., that are used. Can you, yes, can you then clarify once and for all for our Indian audiences, especially in Delhi, that if they receive rain because of cloud seeding, does it or does it not have a health impact? It has no health impact. Uh, and the confidence in my statement stems from the very simple mathematical calculation. Uh, in our seeding mixture, there are three types of ingredients. One is silver iodide, second is rock salt, and third is common salt. Now rock salt and common salt, of course, don't cause any harm. Hmm. It's the silver iodide that can be harmful if it is well present in large quantities. Hmm. Now our seeding mixture and the amount of seeding that we do will basically spread less than one kilogram of silver iodide over an area of 100 square kilometers. You do the calculation, uh, over something as large as one square kilometer, the amount of silver iodide will be less than 10 grams. Hmm. And uh, so this is such a negligible amount of uh, silver iodide that it makes no difference at all in terms of 
any health hazard or such things so no at the same time we how we all the same time we are just to reconfirm it uh, we have uh, set up the instrumentations and we are taking soil samples as well uh, to see what if any changes are occurring when we do seed i see sir I see soil samples and otherwise to sort of monitor results later on. So, uh, can I then ask you uh, the relationship? Every time there is an experiment, scientific experiment done like this, which impacts so many people, we get very excited and perhaps look at institutions like yours with a lot of respect as well. That India is capable of doing something like that. So, kudos to you and your team. I want to go back to understanding how did this association even start. When was the first time you thought about cloud seeding? Did the Delhi government uh, come to you with that idea? Were you already sitting on it? You took it to them. How did this marriage start? Well, it uh, started the whole cloud seeding idea in IIT Kanpur started many years ago when there was a uh, partnership with the government of UP uh, with the aim of developing this technology. Uh, we have. Uh, been importing this technology uh, from outside and the idea was to in-house development of this and over a period of time we developed because uh, we had our own aircraft uh, we were importing these flares but over a period of time we developed our own flares they are now being made in shivakashi and the salt mixture also which was uh, purely silver iodide that is prescribed everywhere everybody uses that but we developed our own uh, mixture of uh, salts. And uh, so pretty much everything is in-house developed. Then we, uh, because Delhi is, uh, suffers from pollution every year, and uh, we did reach out to the government of Delhi a few years ago with this idea or proposal. But Delhi also has a problem of permissions. There is a very difficult to get permissions from DGCA and many other agencies hmm. to actually fly an aircraft and do the seeding. So that's where things get got stalled and uh, didn't move forward until earlier this year when the uh, Minister Sirsa, who really took the leadership in this and uh, all credit to him, he hmm. personally ensured that all permissions are available to us and mm. so that we can do the city. Got it. So you've answered the, all my questions uh, very, very, uh, you know, in, a, in the best way, in a very nuanced way. I have to ask you the last one that I'm getting as a pop-up on my screen right now. People watching this interview are then, uh, perhaps from the opposition also saying that for a project that costs 25 crore for just four months does not lead to bringing down pollution. Is it really worth it? And why did you do it now? Was it political pressure? Do you want to take that on? Look, uh, the cost-benefit analysis of this, uh, one would be able to do more clearly once, let's say, the entire season goes away, uh, goes past. Because one also has to take in that, suppose there is a rain. Suppose the AQI does come down for say two days, by how much the health, in, the negative health impact has reduced and mm. what is its cost. Mm. So once one does that, then one can do a comparison whether this worth spending 25 crore was worthwhile or not. I can't answer that right now. Maybe mm. it is a, it turns out that it was not desirable and then it can be discontinued. But Got it. This is a scientific experiment. This hmm. is an attempt to try things, new things out. Hmm. And uh, the jury's out. We'll see at the end of the day where we stand. 